Halloween is coming. On this ghostly day, let's talk about ghosts. They have many names and kinds. Spook, Phantom, Spectre, Mains, Sprite, Visitant, Wraith, Lemures, Apparition, Poltergeist, Bogey, Genie, Demon, Devil, Zombie, Vampire. You may wonder, do they really exist? If you're curious about ghosts, Buddhism can give you the real picture. Sentient beings of our Saha world live in the six realms. The realm of ghosts is one of them. As with humans, beings of the ghost realm consist of big shots and losers. There are benign ghosts as well as malevolent spirits. Big shots are a tiny minority among ghosts. Their blessings exceed even those of humans. Hungry ghosts are losers. They are always short of food and drink. Meals approaching their mouths would immediately turn into flame and ashes. They have to wait for centuries, even to consume a bit of spit. Good ghosts help and protect humans, while evil ones pull pranks on people and hurt them. According to Buddhism, ghosts and humans live in different dimensions. They don't generally interact, but there are exceptions. If beings you've hurt in your present and previous lifetimes become ghosts after they die, they may come get even with you. What would you do in case you encounter a vengeful ghost? Punch it? Ghosts have clairvoyance, clairaudience, and telepathy. Even Captain America, Iron Man, and Spider-Man together are no match for them. Run? Save your breath. Ghosts are capable of teleportation. Within a single thought, they can reach any spot on Earth promptly. Scream? Leave the light on all night? Hide under your blankets? That only induces the spirit to pounce on you in bed. Let me tell you the best solution. Recite Namo Amitabha Buddha. Yes, it's that simple. The reason is that ghosts respect, sidestep, and protect Amitabha reciters. Amitabha Buddha is supreme among Buddhas. His light is the most powerful and compassionate in the universe. When you recite his name, your body emits radiance too. Ghosts spontaneously venerate you. Some are warded off by your soul. Benign ones even come protect you when they hear your recitation. Amitabha's name manifests light. The more you recite, the brighter the light. Carrying amulets, cards, and beads emblazoned with Namo Amitabha Buddha is the same as reciting. They glow with radiance to expel evil spirits and protect people. What do you think? With this wondrous way to exercise ghosts, do you still fear the scary rumors? Are you still afraid of walking at night or passing a graveyard? Are you anxious about being picked on by a ghost? When you recite Namo Amitabha Buddha, the Buddha positions himself above your head. You are accompanied by bodhisattvas and safeguarded by spirits. You enjoy peace and good fortune every day.
me mm-hmm. 